Yes, you're still on to the economy today. And uh, yes, uh, today I am still in the office, not still in the office, I'm again in the office of the Deputy Managing Director of uh, the Lekki Free Zone, uh, that is uh, Aji Bodhi Bolati, to, to discuss uh, the investment uh, path, you know, of the Lekki Free Zone. Hello, sir. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I'm here again. Uh, and thank you for welcoming us the second time. It's a pleasure to see you again. Is there going to be another change of a formation of you invest, reinvesting or maybe re-registering your business within the Lekki Free Zone? Or like, rather, that is coming with uh, new terms and conditions? No, it's once and for all. Just once and for once all? Once you sign our investment agreement. So there is no agreement. renewal of no, 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 agreement? No, 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 it's once and for all. Okay. It's uh, once and for all. You have your land, you have your title, and it's once and for all. Just as you have in any other investment territory. All right. So um, the, the, this particular lucky free zone now, the Chinese are involved, you know, heavily involved somehow. And, and uh, they are the ones uh, bringing, like bringing the cash, bringing the money. Like I have learned said that it's about uh, 60 to 40 percent, you know, uh, partnership uh, agreement between the two partners. Uh, yeah. uh, so um, what, what does that make uh, Nigeria? Come Lagos State. Okay. Um, under this arrangement, mm. the our Chinese partners own sixty percent, and we own forty percent Lagos State. So the sixty percent of Chinese investment is raw cash, and it's two hundred million dollars. Our investment of forty percent is cash and land. Okay. So the entire land here, the three thousand hectares of land which I told you the last time, is four times the size of Victoria Island. Mm. That's the land here. So it's part of our contribution to the joint venture. So that represents $67 million. And then we also have to bring in cash of $67 million. So 7 plus 67 is our contribution. And that contribution is raw cash of 200. Mm. But to date, the Chinese have brought in about 73% of that cash Okay. And we have also contributed the same amount. So we still, have, we still have some funds that have not been called up, if you, you know, the way it's called in, in business. So you still, have, or you still have cash that have not been called up. So if we need more, more cash by way of equity, we can reach out to our partners to bring in more cash. And Lagos State will also bring in their own contribution. So what, when it comes to the ownership, ownership of, of this now, uh, how do, would we say own it? And... Uh, if it is the other partner, who is the Chinese that owns it, how long are they owning it? And uh, when will that now be handed over to the Lagos State, Nigeria, so to say? Okay, I, if I understand what you mean by partner uh, ownership, under a JV arrangement, we both own this place mm. for the next, for the, for the, for the concession years. So, so the uh, Chinese partners, because they bring in a lot to the table, not just the cash, they bring in technology, mm -hmm. they bring in investment. Mm -hmm. So if you look around here, we have more Chinese investors because our land is quite expensive. That's why I talked about the standard factory that we, we want to do so that Nigerians can have access. We sell a minimum of one hectare of land and we sell in dollars. So who needs 12, 12 plots to start a business? It's only the Chinese that can, for now, come in, buy 10 hectares, buy 5 hectares, raw cash, build their factory and equipment and start business. So we don't have many Nigerians with that deep pockets. So to your question, who owns this place today? We both own, the, okay. we both own it until the, next, until the 50 year arrangement is up. So that's the duration. So yeah. after that 50 years, so we are in bed for 50 years. Right? Mm. After, after 50 years, then everything will revert to Lagos State. Okay. But, uh, they, but then they will have, I mean, the profits, they will have recouped all their investment. But the investors will remain. Don't forget, the private investors here will remain. Will remain. They will continue to run their business. But the arrangements between Lagos State and the Chinese state owned um, enterprises comprise, that formed Kali, mm. that arrangement will fall off. Wow. Wow. So uh, 
this, this is good, actually. It's good. And uh, then I, I want to look at the Chinese investment into Africa now. Uh, it seems it is large, you know, when it comes to, it's as if the Chinese seems to be taking over uh, from the Western world, so one, one way or the other. Uh, what does that uh, say? Uh, I mean, how would that uh, trickle down to this side, this part now, uh, Nigeria and Lagos State economically? Then you're looking, when we're, if we're looking at developments. Yeah. Yes, this is, if, this is a known fact that China is, is interested in Africa. Yes. And if China is interested in Africa, Nigeria is a major uh, player in that space. And what is their interest? Don't forget, the Chinese are interested in exploring, exploiting natural resources of Africa. They are interested in um, trade. So natural resources and trade is the attraction. And they are good at labor-intensive production, production. So labor-intensive. So in, in here, we have over 5,000 workers. It's labor-intensive. Most of those in, investors here, their machines are, you know, mm -hmm. they're not high-tech. So if you are looking for low-tech, labor-intensive technology, you go to China. Mm. And Africa, that is what we need. It's cheap, it's easier to maintain, and we have the population to feed the factories. So it's win-win for both. That's one. Consumer um, production, cons um, cons consumer processing. These guys are very good at consumer product processing. So Nigeria is interested in consumer product processing. So they are interested here. We are also, it, it, it suits what Nigeria needs, what China offers suits our needs. So as they are looking towards here, we are, we are happy with them. And what is the future? The future is that if, you, if, if, we, if, if we talk about the future, say the next 50 years, it's been projected that, that China is going to lead the world. Mm. So China is going to be the superpower, number one in the world, the next 50 years, um, followed by India, then you have America, and you have Indonesia, so where, where, and you have Nigeria. Nigeria yes, okay. Nigeria in the yes, next 50 years. Where, where? Yes, Nigeria is number five, mm. according to study. Mm. So you have China, 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 India, US, Indonesia, Nigeria. Mm. So it's a number one looking out to, to, be, to, to be a partner with number five, which is Nigeria. So everything they offer, we need. We also have natural resources that they need. We have trade. We have the population. So it's a, it's a marriage of convenience. Now, uh, you used uh, two words uh, at which I picked out there, exploring and uh, exploiting. You understand? Um, and uh, we all know what exploring is uh, to discover. Then exploiting means that uh, you are also not, uh, it could be like you discovered and then you are trying to use up what we have discovered and all that, and it could be for good, it could be for the other one. So, um, is there any form of fear that uh, coming from another nation, you know, and exploring and exploiting into this phase now, you know, with the idea, with the uh, projection of development, investment and development, wouldn't, is there no fear that uh, something not so good? fall out from it. No, 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 no. When you say you explore and you exploit, it's not in the negative. It's to add value, really. That's, that's my, that's the way I can describe it. You have natural resources, you want to explore them, mm -hmm. discover them, exploit them, and add value. And how do you add value? It's by technology. And do we have the technology? The answer is no. China has the technology. The West has a technology, but which one is cheaper for us mm. to, 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 to consume? The Chinese technology for now. So if China has what I need, or if China is interested in exploiting and exploring my natural resources, adding value to it, and I have also put in a lot of measures to protect myself and to protect the owners of the natural resources, why not, if not? This place was just, you know, a virgin land. Mm. It was not used for years. It was not used for years. It was unproductive land. 
if you can describe like that, like I said it last time, it was, it was swampy. Mm. And the people were just barely doing small, small farming here and, you know, and small fishing activities. Nothing was happening here until we partnered with the Chinese. And now you have an industrial, you know, community. So that is expo exploration and exploitation, if, if you want to call it like that. So land is, is a natural resource. So, and they have added value to it. So we are happy to be in bed with them. But we must guide our, we must be on our guard and ensure that we, 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 we reap the fruit of the land, just as they are also taking their dividends out. Anyway, I'll go for a very short break and I'll be right back to ask uh, Madame more questions. Welcome back. You're still on the TET, that's the economy today, and we're looking at uh, this, uh, the investment path of the Lekki uh, Free Zone area, which is in Lagos State, and I'm being uh, tutored here, or rather being taught here <laughs> by a very amiable woman, you know, the Deputy uh, Managing Director of the Lekki Free Zone. So, uh, you've spoken well about the partnership and the rest of it. Now, now let's look at some unforeseen challenges. We are in a country that, uh, you know, power seems to be an issue. Even sometimes uh, water seems to be an issue. We have water all around us, but it seems to be an issue having it. Okay, clean water, you know, some of our, our stuffs, you know, things we use are still archaic, but what? So uh, does this in any way have an effect on the partnership, you know, coming from the two sides? Um, not at all, not at all, because our job as a free zone operator mm. is, to, is to actually to provide those infrastructure. The capital that was brought in by the, from, from China and the equity of Lagos State here is to provide the infrastructure for our investors. So you don't have to bother about what is happening, what you just described, because we have our own IPP. So we provide them 24 hours electricity, mm. and it's not diesel power generator, it is gas powered. So we are even moving from, from CNG now to our own LNG, because we have LNG. Mm. The LNG um, points in our zone is, is the one that pass into Dangote fertilizer. So we have that tip point and we are now escalating the gas to all our investors. So gas is no longer, so power, power availability is 24 hours and uninterrupted because we are at a very strategic location. Well, uh, that's and same goes for water. So we have our water treatment, we have our water plants. So we, generally, so we are like, uh, it's, it's, it's like a country within the country. So we, we provide everything that our investors need to make business easy for them and they can just focus on their core business. Now, I wanted to ask this question. Um, before I go into the next question, I, I was asking it, you know, is this private or public? You know, there seems to be a little confusion in there. So what is it? This lucky free zone, is it private or is it public? Let me explain what makes a, a free zone private or public. So you take, so if, if you want a, 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 if you, if you want a private free zone, you approach the government to carve out a parcel of land. So it's like you buy the land from the states, they carve it out for you. NEBSA will now designate that area as a free zone. Mm. And it's owned by you, 100%. Mm. That's private. But immediately you enter into partnership with the owner of the land, okay. which is the state, then it's no longer private, it's public. So I give you, a, so ours is a public free zone because Lagos State is the owner of the land. And that land is, a, is our contribution plus cash. In some public free zone arrangement, there's no cash. It's just the land. Oh. So the, the state will just give you the land and you as an investor, we bring, bring the, cash. the cash. 
I think ours, if I'm not mistaken, is perhaps the only, if I'm not mistaken, the only free zone where states brought in both land and cash. Mm -hmm. So if for most public, it's just the land. So you, you got the distinction now. So ours is a public free zone. Okay. Uh, so you mean the government has a hand in it? Too? Yes. All right. Uh, uh, so um, let, let's look at uh, the future of this place, the future, you know, going forward, looking at uh, the various businesses that this could actually impact on. Let's look at the future and uh, the future of where this is, uh, because this is happening in just one part of Nigeria. And um, I personally would have loved it to be in every other part of Nigeria so that maybe we'll have uh, places where people can go and do their business without uh, feeling any form of trouble. So what is the future looking like? I, I, if, if, uh, if I got you right, the future of free zone in Nigeria. Yes, and the future so of this fi place now. Of this place know, and the future. With, yes, and the future of free zones in Nigeria. So in Nigeria, we have over 50 operating free zones, by the way, mm. across Nigeria. It's just as many of them are not active as, as we are, right? So there are free zones all over Nigeria, but how active are they? It's, it's, it's not what I can, you know. Um, so is it subject to the states? So it's a, it's, a, it's a function of the, 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 the relationship between the partners. Because okay. most of them are public. So if, 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 if you have a public arrangement and it's not functioning, then it shows that maybe we have some issues with the relationship, with the JV arrangement. We don't have that here. Um, and if it is 100% private, you can be sure that that's when we run. So the ones that are not running, maybe because they are public and the relationship mm -hmm. between the partners are not strong, we have a very strong relationship with, each, with, with, with our partners. We were in Beijing two months ago, you know, to even meet our shareholders to discuss more about the future. So the future of this, of this place is, is bright. Not just because we are in Lagos, or I would say one, because we are in Lagos. And Lagos is a commercial center of Nigeria. And in Lagos today, land is a scarce commodity. Very scarce. The, very only, scarce. the only area in Lagos today where you can find, or where you can buy 500 hectares. I'm, I'm, I think I'm even, that's where you can even buy 100 hectares of land in one location in Lagos, can only be in this free zone. You can't get that parcel of, that large parcel of land in anywhere in Lagos, in one location, except you go to a free zone. Mm. So the free zone will continue to be a, a you know, a place a go-to place for big-time investors. So the future is very, is very bright. And to even imagine that, we, have, we, are, just, we, are, we are just about 50% developed. Just so 50%? 15. 15%? Yes, so wow. we, still have, we still have a long way to go. Even as, even as we, we say we are doing so well, we are still scratching the surface. So we still have, we still have a lot to do. And because we are also multi-sectoral, so the, the area where we are strong today is the industrial area. We still have to grow our oil and gas business. The number one oil and gas business we do today is Pinnacle. Mm. Now Rano is coming, MRS is coming. All of them, they have bought, they have bought their land. That's it on, on that table. They have bought, but they are, the lands are all, all bought, but now they are coming, because especially now that the oil, oil and gas, um, the downstream sector has been fully deregulated. So we see a lot of them now coming in to set up their tank farm. So the future is very, very bright. The next five years, hmm, you will not be able to buy one plot of land here. You better come now. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, let me ask this question. Um, administration, you know, administratively so, uh, and policies now. Um, sometimes when partnership happens, especially when it comes to like a, a nation joining another nation to form something and then... Uh, there are different administrations that sign these things into a law, you know, and then make policies uh, to guide in, the make, in making sure that uh, that investment lasts. Um, if we have a new administration, you know, say 
new Lagos State administration that is not uh, uh, from the same party, you know, what happens? Yeah, um, Lagos has been lucky. Um, we've been stable politically. This is a dream that was conceived and birthed by our president mm. when he was governor of Lagos State. So he's our visioner. And is this a brilliant vision? Yes. Is this something, even if he had not been, he had not had successive governors from the same party, but if you look at the dream itself, the vision itself, is this something you want to jettison? Is this something you want to, you want to rubbish? I don't think any, any, any reasonable government, after the president, then as governor, will have jettisoned this idea. And when he left as governor, Governor Rajiv Fashola took over, and he did so much. He spent so much energy here. And same for Ambody, Governor Ambody, and same for Governor Sonwolu. So even if there is a change in party, this has come to stay. So it, it will be a continuous... Uh... It's, it's, this has come to stay because it's not something you want to... You want, you, want, you want to be part of this dream, even if we are not from the same party. So it does not really matter if there is a change in, a change in party in Lagos State. The lucky free trade zone ideology, the business ideology makes sense and will continue to make sense to any government in power.